Hey guys, John here. I've still got my, my, my room is a mess again. So I got this giant box in, it's bigger than my knee here. It's it comes up to my waist, but, um, so I want to go through that box. I know what's in here. It's my Star Wars figures I ordered and, um, I got to get, this is one of my bins of Lego and Ugh. Yeah, it's just all random Lego. And I gotta get this out of the way. Now I have seven, seven bins like that, full of Lego. But I just got in the Mandalorian carrier, the Star Wars, Luke's X-Wing, right? The battle droid, and if you look, can you see in there? The white gun, the white heavy gun for the um, First Order Stormtroopers are in there. And then we got this Hulk with Wolverine to look at. So I got a lot to go through, and we're still opening up um, the boxes of Robotech. I've basically been opening a box every night. We got a bunch of figures. Really nice ones, cool guys. And um, their Bioroid army and... Is that Rick Hunter? Yeah, Rick Hunter with his helmet and gun. Cool stuff. So we'll have to go through all that on a video at some point. But let's get into those Star Wars guys and then I gotta show, gotta show you something here that was kind of surprising me, shocked me during this quarantine that I've discovered. All right, so first off, a lot of you are going to be pissed at how they packed this. They packed this just in... It's a Disney bag. Look at this. It's just like in a bag. And then look down here. Constantine bag <laughs> and that's it box is empty so cool. all the figures that have been in this Darth Vader case have just been rattling around the entire trip because all they were in was a bag so <laughs> they could very well be broken into a million pieces and I never had one with a sticker on it. Do you guys have yours with stickers on them? My, I have... This is number five, and it's the first one with a sticker. And then... The C-3PO case is really nice. This one might be in better condition than the one I already own. This is, like, absolutely fantastic. It's just beautiful, shiny, wonderful. Wow. So nice. Immaculate. This is absolutely amazing. So C-3PO case and a Darth Vader case. And they should be full of figures. So let's go through them. We'll look at all the figures we got for this deal. Okay, I've switched over to putting it on the tripod here. And we'll open up the Darth Vader case here. <clears throat> nice. Nice snaps. Of course, they're falling all over the place. <laughs> uh, doesn't that always happen? Like, why do they have to fall out? Well, because they were rattling around, right? In the whole time they were being shipped here. All right, that's pretty good, right? Okay, let's see what we got. We, well, first, right off the bat, this is one of the reasons I wanted to win the auction. It's because I don't have a Han Carbonite, and right off the bat, we got a Han Carbonite. Not the best of shape. His arms are pretty stiff, but his, this one leg is a little loose. Um, this one doesn't move that bad, but that one, 
is fairly loose. But still, for not even owning a Han Carbonite to now owning one makes me very happy. And really, I feel like this makes it worth... Well, this and... I got an extra Luke. These need to be cleaned. But I've got two of these, and now I have a third one. So maybe I'll sell one off now that I've got three and make a little bit of the money back. But yeah, he's a little bit loose. The arm, you know. His legs are okay. Yeah. But those two alone make the whole thing worth it, you know, like the price I paid for it. We've got an Emperor Palpatine here. A little bit of discoloration in the body part. I don't know. We'll, we'll clean them up and see if that comes out. It could just be dust and dirt. We don't know. Luke Skywalker. Yeah, really yellowed body. Got a, he's got a brown. When did they make a brown backpack? Let me see if I can get this off of him and take a look at this this backpack because I don't remember has this been painted or is this I don't remember them being brown no it's definitely not painted it's just a brown version of the backpack very strange when did they make oh there's a there's a there's a symbol inside there. There's a um Can we read that? 1980 Hong Kong LFL. So it's a real one. Maybe they made them in brown as well. I just never knew that. Strange. Huh. I guess they made them in white and brown. I just never knew that. Admiral Akbar. That's a pretty good Admiral Akbar. He's pretty stiff. The eyes don't have any scuffs on it. Could always use a new Admiral. Needs some washing. Needs some cleaning. A lot of these are going to need to be cleaned. He said this was his own childhood collection he's had since he was a kid. And he's really not touched them for the last 20, 30 years they've been in the closet. So he got them out just to sell them during this quarantine. So that's understandable why it's they're dirty. You know, they haven't been touched in 30 years, 20, 30 years, whatever. So another Han Hoth. Another Luke Jedi. Well, this one's not bad. The hand doesn't really seem scuffed. The face is good, the hair is good. Not even a lot of nose problem there, you know? Look at the nose, it's not bad. So, yeah, that's good. I only have one, right? No, two. No, one, I've only got one. I got one Luke Jedi that's complete. He's got his cape, lightsaber, and but I've got a Luke Jedi carded also, one in the card, so technically I got two, but I only have one loose. So one loose, now I have two loose. So that, that's all right. Could always use another one. A size noodles. All right. Where's the rest of your band, snoodles? So this thing's still there, that's amazing. Kids usually rip that off right away. Hmm. We got a Death Squad Commander. Again, this is a little bit discolored in the middle, like Emperor was. He's got some blue. Looks like he's got Play-Doh all over him. Yeah, he's going to have to be cleaned. He's got Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh on him and everything. <laughs> it's even in his hands. See that blue Play-Doh inside his hands? So he was encased in Play-Doh a night. Like Carbonite, but Play Doh and I. Ooh, a power droid with the little dealy. The dealy's usually got. That's been cut though, isn't it? Trimmed? I don't know. It's 
still clicks. All the stickers are there. He just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Look how dirty he is. But other than that, that's a really nice power droid. I'm glad I only have one, one power droid. I think that's been trimmed a little bit. Or is it on backwards? I don't know. I'm going to take a look at that. But at least it's there, right? Princess Leia with pink arms and pink legs. Never seen one do that before. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, I've never seen one turn pink like that before. Fascinating. Uh, he's not going to come out. Here he is. The Royal Guard. With all of his capes, which is cool. Because a lot of times this outer cape is torn off or something. So that's cool. I could add him to the group. I think I got three. So now I'll have four. So it'll be back to an even number, which is good. You always want an even number of these guys in your following your emperor around nice another tie uh at at driver and he's really stiff look at that i mean he looks like he's barely been played with really nice helmet on him i like this guy this is a good one that's cool the first c3po right yeah not take apart a little bit of a loose leg there but Otherwise, not bad at all. All the other joints are fine. Pretty nice looking 3PO. Could always use more 3PO's and more R2's, I say. It's a really good one to always get if you can. And this has to be the take apart. Yeah. Yeah, his arms come off. So that's the take apart one. Real shiny, this one. Really nice. That's a really nice shiny... Take apart 3PO. Wow. That's like brand new practically. And then we got Rees. He needs to be cleaned. Look at that dirt. Rrr. He needs cleaning. It's good to have another Rees. I think this guy might only have two or three of. So good to have another. Same with Admiral Akbar. I think I only have two or three of him. So, I mean, it's like some of these are guys that I hardly ever get duplicates of. Well, there we go. That's cool. Leia with the um, poncho, but she's missing her helmet. Oh, well. And then we got Adat Commander. Again, the, the center's turning color. Just like Emperor and the Death Squad Commander. Huh. Interesting. And we have... Uh, Frankenstein looking dude. Um, come on. 88, right? 88? 88, 88? With a yellow body? I only have one 8D8, so now I have two in my collection. That's pretty good. Or do I have two, and this is the third one? Uh, yeah, I have two, and this is my third one. Okay. Most of my figures, even if I have multiples, are on display up there. But I do have some in cases that, if they don't make sense, to have multiples on display. Another rebel commander. He's turning pink in the arms and legs also. Weird. This pinkness is weird. He had guys that turned weird colors. The colors that I haven't really seen them turning before. Oh, he really needs cleaned. Look, he feel like he looks like he got punched in the face. Look at this. Oh, oh my nose! You broke my nose, you jerks! Yeah, he got John Wicked in the face. 
it's good to have another one of these, but he really needs cleaning. Look at that. Look at the goo. It's like poop on him or something. It looks like chocolatey poo or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these have to go to the cleaning rack. They're going to get sponged down. Lando, skiff guard. Too bad he doesn't have his helmet. Really want that helmet. I have a lot of these without the helmets. I need helmets. I think I only have one helmet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this Leia. She has the turtleneck. This is the first Leia I've ever owned with the turtleneck. Crazy. They basically just painted her neck. So finally, I have the, a variant one. Like, well, I mean, that face is pretty weird, too. It looks like an Odo face. Like, those those changeling, the changeling woman that was on Star Trek Next Gen, or Deep Space Nine. That's what she looks like. Odo, you need to join the, the collective in the little pool of water on our planet and merge with us. The merging is like really neat and you need to do it. She's even wearing the same outfit as that lady. <laughs> oh boy. Ridiculous. 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 I'm gonna have to clean these cases too. Another Luke. Well, X Wing pilot guy. We don't have to say he's Luke. He can be whoever we want. This one's Porkins. The helmet's really what rubbed off. There's no rebel symbols anymore, but the rest look looks okay, you know, decent enough. He feels a little sticky, like he might have been some goo. Leia Boosh. Helmet comes off. See, now this one comes with the helmet. Why didn't all the other ones come with helmets? Where's Lando's helmet and the other Leia's helmet? Why'd you save this helmet? Because you never played with it. The arms are so stiff. Looks like this has never been moved. <laughs> That's why. For some reason, they didn't play with him. With that one. Let's see here. We got to look inside the little box. We have a red gun. Now, this clearly looks like it's been painted. I wonder if I can get that paint off and be able to use it. Why would you paint this red? That makes no sense. What else do we got? We have a silver, painted silver. See, like, I can see a reason to paint it silver. But it's a Zuckus gun painted silver. Still, though, why paint your guns? No, please don't. And this weapon has been painted silver. Which was already gray. Why do you need to paint it silver? I don't think I'm going to... Well, it does kind of scrape off with my thumbnail, so maybe we can scrape all this off and <laughs> who knows what else is in here. There's more stuff in here. What's that? That's nothing. All right, that's all there is. So we got a, this is a, um, let's get this out of the way, I guess. This is a speeder bike gun. Goes to the bottom of a speeder bike. All right. And we have a Stormtrooper blaster. All right. And two, <coughs> two very yellow gas masks. Very old looking gas masks. Which is cool because I don't actually have any. I have a million of the backpacks, but not the gas masks. So that kind of fills out having that um, that 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 set. You know what I mean? That the the set that you need. Let's take a look at these guys. Hopefully they're not. Yeah, they're all falling all over the place too. Ugh. Get back in there. Get back in there. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. These guys are actually in the right spots. Yoda, the Jedi Master. There's two of them in here. Two Yodas. We have a Yoda with his orange snake belt and tunic on. No cane again. No cane. I can't get a Yoda with a cane for some reason. And we have another Yoda who's naked. <laughs> I'm naked. Yes. I'm going to run around in the nude. <laughs> And we have a name num name num. He looks like he's never been played with. That's a really good name num. And we got another Bespin security guard. Looks pretty worn. All the gold is gone. His hat's pretty worn. Hands are getting, you know. You know, I used to use these guys for extra Cobra troopers when I was a kid. And here's a Hoth Rebel Soldier. Again, arms turning pink. Look at that. Otherwise, though, he's not bad at all. I mean, arms and legs are turning a little pink, but he's really actually the paint and everything. His feet aren't scuffed. Everything's nice on that guy. We got a pretty bad Han Solo. Look at all that scuff up. Interesting, even that paint's coming off down there. Huh. He's pretty scuffed up in there. That's that's too bad. Cool figure. Another Bosk. A bunch of Bosks. Bosk is always cool to have. Really great guy. I like Bosk a lot. Another Dengar with the red backpack. Really colored red. That's bright red. Another Dengar. Always good to have. And we have Hammerhead with Luke's belt on. We'll have to um, get that belt on the right character. And we got four Lom. Four Elohim. Nice. Everything except the gun. So that's good. Good to have with him. And we have another Boba Fett. Nice. Not a bad Boba Fett either. Paint's all there. I mean, you would have wouldn't you have played with this to death? But he looks fine. Oh, huh. He's better than the one I showed in the video when I was comparing him with the retro collection stuff. <laughs> IG88, the dull version. I only own one dull version. I've got five or six of the shiny ones. So now I have two of the dull versions. That's always good to have multiples of those uh, variant sort of different ones. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice to have a, another dull one. Not bad at all. Okay, Chewbacca. Another Chewbacca. With the green, he's got the green pouch instead of the brown. Looks like he's got the, the good brown arms, not the green arms and legs. Interesting. Seventy-seven. Death Star droid with all his paint scuffed off and of course he is loose as hell because really loose 
They always are loose. You can't find this guy without being loose. He's so hard to get a stiff, really nice one. So difficult to get a nice one on that. White hair Ben Kenobi with the lightsaber, but the tip's broken off the lightsaber, but still not too bad to have another one. He really needs a cleaning job. He looks like he's been getting moldy. That looks like mold. Yeah, he's got spots all over him. He's um, in desperate need of a cleaning because otherwise he's going to contaminate the whole place. R5-D4. Awesome. I love getting more R5-D4s. Really cool. This lacks an R2-D2. I'm shocked. There's no R2 in this collection. I, I'm amazed. Maybe he kept R2 because that was one of his favorite characters. His antenna had been clipped. But there's another Greedo. I think I only have one or two Greedos. Because there, I have two. I have two Greedos. But now I have a third, but his head's clipped. I don't like that. Hmm. Why did he clip off his ears? What would you do that for? What's wrong with you? Lando smiling. Again, I think this is only the second smiling version of Lando I've ever owned. I've got four or five of the not smiling ones, but... And again, his torso has changed colors compared to the rest of him. Hmm. Just like those Imperial guys. We have a biker scout wearing a white backpack. It's always good to have another biker scout. This one doesn't have scuffed hands or anything. His paint's all pretty good. Usually the hands are scuffed all up. So that's cool. To get that backpack off, maybe. Yeah, let's see. Stormtrooper. Oh, he's pretty yellow. But he's evenly yellow. His arms, legs, and body are all pretty yellow. So he is a remnant stormtrooper now from the Mandalorian. This is a remnant stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. <laughs> yep. That's like the worst stormtrooper I own now. Let's see what else. We got a snow, another snow trooper here. Again, pink arms and legs. Look at that. Wow. What made his his environment at his house made all these things turn pink? Where I've, I've never seen them turn pink before. Be wondering. Interesting to know what combination of um, atmosphere he had there at his house that made him turn pink. A lobot. Lobot. Lo 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 lobot. We got a low butt. The low, low, the low butt. We got a General Maidine with a punched in face. Yes, I was in a fight with, uh, who was it again? With that, uh, ATST driver. I was in a fight with the ATST driver that got punched earlier, and that's why I got punched. In the face, too. <laughs> yeah, he feels sticky. He feels sticky. Needs a, needs a cleaning. And we got Zuckus. But again, Zuckus is tinted in the body. Just like the Emperor in them. And only on the front, mostly. Weird. 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 Jawa. Ooh, that's a nice Jawa. He's got his coat and everything. Looking good. He's got the big eyes. Not the little pinprick eyes. So that'll go right handy in my with the rest of the Jawas up there. And lastly, we have a Darth Vader with his cape, which is nice. 
but he's got a toothpick in his arm. I gotta get that out. Can't have a toothpick in his arm. What's going on here? Yeah. Gotta clean up the cape a lot. There's like goo on it, ice cream or something. And we have, I think there's nothing in here. Yeah, nothing in the storage area. The storage bin here has nothing. So, you get nothing. All right, so that takes care of that. So at the beginning of the video, I was going to say I hit upon something during this quarantine that kind of really opened my eyes to collecting and the value of these things. Like Star Wars, here's the one that I won. So I won it for $189, as you can see there. So, and I've seen equivalent ones. Here's one with 40 figures, two cases, 220. These are all ended auctions, okay? But you go to do G.I. Joe, twice as much money, 389 You got two cases and a bunch of figures. You know, here's two cases and a bunch of figures. Only 48 figures, not even the 51 that I won. 724 Look at that. Here we go, 504 and you don't even get any cases. Yeah, there's a few more weapons and equipment there than what I got, but it's less figures. Then we got 47 figures here with some weapons. 495 You know, collecting G.I. Joe is crazy. This one's only got like... 20 figures or something 30 maybe 449 here's some 429 another lot 25 bids 400 dollars for like one two three four five six seven eight was that eight or nine figures there with your equipment <laughs> and now you got a c3po case with 34 figures 195 you know it's like Way cheaper to buy a lot. Look at this. 54 Star Wars guys for $161.99. 48 for 201 So it's way... It's like half the price to get Star Wars, a Star Wars collection as it is to get a G.I. Joe collection. 198 for these with a case. And you got a lot of weapons. Look at all the weapons. Here's a case. Two cases with Wampas and Tauntauns and... Dubacks, 190. Look at that. And there was a whole bunch of weapons there. 140 for this lot. Look at that giant pile of stuff. Tons of figures and vehicles. 50 figures, more than 50, with some pieces of equipment. 176. A case with a bunch of figures and some glasses. Some of those drinking glasses from Burger King. 168 for all these. Lots of duplicates here, though. 33 bids. Look at that. 172 on this one. So it's like... I'm just trying to show that collecting Star Wars isn't as bad as you might think as compared to some other lines. Like, if you were really big into G.I. Joe, you're going to be spending twice as much as what you're seeing here. And uh, so, and I highly recommend getting a lot of figures like this if you're going to start out collecting Star Wars. Because look at this G.I. Joe, yeah, like I so said before, $3.98 for that, which is a pretty much equivalent to what I got. Bunch of loose figures with barely any equipment. Half of them are broken here. $4.29 for G.I. Joe. Where you go back to mine, and mine. Two cases, 51 figures, 189. And you even got a Han Carbonite and a Luke Endor in here. So, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's way cheaper to buy Star Wars figures than it is to buy G.I. Joe, hands down. And um, I, it, it bothers me because I've been... The reason I've been noticing this is because I've been trying to collect G.I. Joe during this quarantine and rebuild my collection of G.I. Joe. And at these prices, it's nearly impossible to get every single figure I want. It's just so difficult. And, um, but when, when I started noticing this, I'm like, sure. I'm thankful that star Wars is the prices that they're at. Cause, <laughs> and they're as common as they are. Cause there's some GI Joe figures you just can't find. It's crazy, but star Wars, you can, you know, all but the, those last 15 or so, you know, star Wars is pretty common. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching there. Some food for thought, eh? All right.
Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.